City at 637. We're going over to our friend uh, Mike Apple uh, with the latest on rates this yeah. morning. Hi. Good morning, Melanie. We're talking about interest rates out of the United States being a trendsetter for what we could see here in Canada. The U.S. Central Bank yesterday raised rates a quarter percent and uh, talked about raising rates two more times on top of this this year. So when the U.S. moves, all the other central banks take notice. And does this put pressure on the Bank of Canada to potentially raise interest rates here at home? Something certainly that homeowners and anybody with debt uh, will be paying close attention to. We are expecting an interest rate hike by the Bank of Canada next month. But some economists have still said, though, that uh, this whole trade debacle with the United States could slow the economy. So we'll see if, in fact, the data points to the need for higher interest rates. Microsoft reportedly working on technology for self-checkouts at uh, the grocery store or any type of retail location. Now, this would compete with something that Amazon is already working on, but can it, uh, again, eliminate jobs at the cashier level? Uh, Microsoft reportedly already in talks with big-name retailers such as Walmart about using its technology. How much is Netflix worth? Yesterday, the video streaming uh, company saw its stock price surge to an all-time record high of $380. A Goldman Sachs analyst says, oh, maybe next year it'll be up to almost $500 per share. That'll put it close to top 10 for market value in the S&P 500, talking, giving it some uh, indication as to how much uh, micro or, uh, Netflix rather has grown in size and scope and this is a company that spends billions of dollars on original content but is looking at some serious profitability markets coming into the day mixed dollars above 77 cents